everybody welcome to let's play dragon age origins if i'm not wrong this is episode 26 and i am ready to go into the red cliff castle again to help connor uh, we talked to the mages actually to the first enchanter arwing about connor last episode and he agreed to help to us so let's go in and see what's going to happen I see them. Oh, let's do this. Ah, there you are. We have brought Lyrium and begun preparations for the ritual. We can start any time. Hmm. Do you have any advice it for us? It truly depends on the manner of demon. It sounds like a spirit of greed and desire. One of the more powerful in the hierarchy. It will likely engage you in dialogue and tempt you with an offer. Avoid it. Making deals with demons never turns out well. Hmm. Only one person can go yes. through? We haven't sufficient lyrium at present to send more than one oh. mage into the Fade. Hmm. Okay, let's I'm glad do it we decided then. to take this route. This is really the best option. Very well. Who will go into the Fade? Uh... Well, he said that a mage needs to go. Does that mean that I can't? Maybe I can because I've been Me? in the fate? Confront the demon. Uh, this is a lot to ask. Mm. I think I got this question wrong. I thought that I was asking about me. Uh, okay. If I think about my uh, between my companions, I think I will trust Morrigan more than Win because uh, when we were in the fate, Morrigan was actually able to see through the demon and know that it was a demon, but Win was not. So I think I will trust to Morrigan with this. Then let us begin forthwith. And why didn't you want it to go into the fight? That's also kind of suspicious. You are one of the most powerful mages, I guess, since you are the first enchanter and whatever. Okay. Hi, Morgan. You come up! I can hear you! I'm coming! Is anyone out there? Hello? Father! Where are you? I actually thought that I would be Listen just up, watching what's this, happening, so not I wasn't expecting to control Morgan. I don't understand. It's so cold. I want to go home. You there? Have you seen my son? I can I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. Uh, let's try to get through. This is the Fade. Your kind cannot navigate it any more than you could navigate a dream. I don't understand. Where is my corner? I will find him for you since I foolishly gave my uh -huh. word that I would. Leave me to it. <laughs> no. No, you're trying to lead me astray. I do not believe you. Connor! Connor, where are you? Okay, Morgan. <laughs> Leave me to find my son. Something happened to him. Okay. I can feel it. Curse this blasted darkness. Why can I feel anything? Oh. Uh, okay. Should I look at the map? It doesn't seem so helpful. 
Ooh, Connor. Hi. Who are you? Are you the one that made father? Tell me now. No, I'm not. Mm, let's try to be nice at first. Shoo! <laughs> Run along and play. Or whatever. No! You're here to hurt father. I know it. I won't let you. That's your idea of being nice, Morgan? <laughs> and you done it. At least we find the demon. Easy. Uh, it's not finished. Why? Okay, let's go. Came from there. You. No, I'm not. I'll help him. You can't stop me. Hey there. Why do you keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? Morrigan, could you please try to communicate with the child? Enough of these games. Give me what I want. Trespasser. I will drive you out! I mean that you need to be nice! Ugh. This is really disturbing. Father wonders, seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? Morrigan, I will just do this in order to see what you are going to say and get amused. Because I know that it's not going to work. <laughs> Why do you speak through illusions? Come. Let us converse. No. It is time for you to go now. Do not persist, or things will go very badly for you. And she becomes reasonable when I want to get amused. <laughs> oh, more. Mm, I should face you first. And then... Bye, please. Can you heal yourself? Do you need it? Not really, I guess. You will recover. Hmm. Now I see only the demon. What? What? What kind of thing is it underground? Very well. No more illusions. Now we meet face to face. You see my true form and stand in my domain. It is here I am most powerful. And yet I have no wish to engage your power, nor should you be so eager to engage mine. Perhaps we should converse instead. Hmm. Don't worry, Morrigan, I will not make you converse with the demon. Do you take me for a fool? 
I know better than to bargain with your kind. Alas, that is sad. Very well then. If you wish a battle, you will have it. Let us see if your power matches your boldness, creature. Would you even do that if I choose the converse option? I don't really think so. If I know you well. Oh. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, that's not good. Again. Is this last? You're fine? Can we go out? Oh right, that was the last fight. I wonder what happened to Connor. Didn't work. Or are these just the old corpses? Maybe from the battle? I hope so. What is happening? Stop with the loading screen game. I'm curious. So it is over. Connor is his old self. Ah. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for training once the war is over. It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Eamon has much to mourn and rebuild should he recover. But at least he could be thankful that both his son and wife are safe. I owe you my deepest thanks. I had nearly... I can scarcely believe Connor is the boy he once was. There is still the matter of Jowan. His poisoning Eamon began this whole mess, yet he lives. I must decide what becomes of him. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. Okay. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's me. fate is sealed. What do you think? Why do you want my opinion? You spoke with him, have you not? You know what he has done better than I do, even. Do what I, whatever you want with him, I don't care. Very well. I shall have the mage imprisoned again, for now. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. Are you serious? Isn't there an other way? It has been tried and we will continue trying. Perhaps the demon's absence will make a difference. However, the relic is another option. My husband funded the research of a scholar in Deneram, a brother Genetivi. He has been studying the inscriptions on Andraste's birth rock. When Eamon fell ill, I sent the knights to speak to Genetivi. I hoped that he had finally discovered the location of the urn of sacred ashes itself. They were unable to locate Genitivi. In desperation, I sent more knights in search of the brother, or some clue of the urn's location. Mm. 
is this really the only option going after some relic why people need our help why dark spawn is coming yes i have the dark spawn to content it Eamon is well respected and powerful he can pull Ferelden together. If you wish to fight the Darkspawn, you will need him. Mm. So what will you be doing this time? In this time? I must organize Eamon's knights as they return, draft new soldiers, and prepare the army to fight. I shall hand Redcliffe back to Eamon when he awakens, and in a state where it can be of some use in the coming war. Truly, what other choice do I have? All right then. I don't think I have any other choice in here. Okay, I will see if I can find it. No one else can. Even if I wish to do it myself, I cannot abandon Redcliffe to its own devices. Perhaps you could seek out the brother's home in Denerim and see if any clues remain on his whereabouts. It is the only place to begin the search, I think. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck and may the Maker go with you. How long he will survive without this relic? How will I know that? Mm -hmm. Hi. You saved my son's life, as well as my own. I would always be thankful to you for that. You're welcome. Hey, wakey, wakey. I really hope that this relic is going to work. I don't want to go chase some fantasy or anything while we have the light to deal with. You. You're the one who saved me. I am. But actually, it was kind of Morrigan. Then, I guess I owe her thanks. Father always said to remember to thank people who do nice things for you. I hope Father gets better soon. He will. I hope so too. Won't he? I really hope so. I tried to help Father. I remember that much. Mother was so sad. Don't try for a while. Please, Connor, please. <laughs> we don't want that troll again. It will take years to sort out the castle properly. Then we even get the chance. With the light coming? I don't know. Why did you save game? Don't scare me. Wow. Ooh. Lovely. Yes, lovely. Of course. We found treasure. anything don't worry what's in here let's see more loot I think I saw a book maybe I finally got something for him make a bless you Grey Warden you saved us all you have More things. Of course. Well, all right. I think we've been to all of the rooms. Also been in here and on this way. Yes, we can go to the first floor. I'm not sure if I explored all of the first floor yet. 
We will see. I guess we did it. That poor little boy. I just can't bear to think what he must have gone through. Oh. Yeah. Lovely. I think I'm getting lots of gifts as you desire from looting this place. I will be pleased. My companions will be pleased. Everyone will be pleased. I know that I already explored the other side of the castle. Mhm. Mm so, I came from here right now. Yes. It is good you resolve this demon business. Now we must either revive the Arl or allow Van Tegan to take his place. But actually we have Van Tegan. Of course. Why don't we just go along with him? I think he can do as good as his brother from what I see. Time to go to camp again. We deserve a rest. Right? Right guys? Let's go. Don't ambush me again, Stan. Now oh. that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. It's your turn to ambush me, Alistair. Okay. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, well, I think it turned out quite well, don't you? I just wanted to thank you. You went out of your way to save the Isle's family and you did it. Even though it would have been easier not to. There's been so much death and destruction. It... Well, it, it makes me feel good that at least we were able to save something. No matter how small. I owe the Isle that much. Hmm. Yes, if we can stop the blight, we will save even much more. You're right. Hopefully by that time there's still enough of Ferelden left to save. I hope so. Good. Now that the warm, fuzzy part of the day is over with, we can get back to the ritual dismemberments. Oh wait, it's not Tuesday, is it? No. It's only Monday. <laughs> Ooh, you approve a lot. Let's see. Ooh, care. Should I talk to you again? Hmm? Hmm? But before that I want to look at my inventory if I have any goodies that I can use. Hmm, not weapons for me I guess. Any better armor? I want a different armor. I've been using the same thing almost from the beginning. Alistair, what do you have? I think your sword is quite good, actually. You don't need another one. Mm -hmm. And win. We don't have anything that you can use. I need to check out also your armor, Alistair. Hmm, this is better. Okay.
This is also better. This is not better. Ah, you can use the shield now. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm glad that now you're able to use that one. Even shield. Hmm. But I think the one you are holding right now is better. Let's move on. Can you wear an armor? Even if you wear it, I don't think it will do good to you. And we don't have any jewelry. Good jewelry, I think. Hmm. Oh, you can use the Usaris now. Okay. Okay. It's a quite good sword. You can have this. And this, apparently. You have a fine armor. Quite same with this one. You don't need shield and... No, we don't have anything else for you. Morgan, hello. I probably have nothing for you. And Mediana. Should I give you these chainmail boots? I'm not sure. And your weapon is quite good also, you don't need anything else. Oh, wait. I think we may have something for you. What you have is better for sure. And again, what you have is better. So, Zeran, how do you do? Your armor is quite nice. I like the color green are you using a sword why don't you use two daggers like me maybe I can give you this hmm? all right all right then and should I level you up, everyone? Hi, Alistair. Hmm. What should I give you? Oh, I want to give you taunt. Okay. That's good. You will be more effective in the battleground. You will be putting up all of the enemies to yourself and that way you will be more effective because you are the tank of the party for me at least mm -hmm. what should i give you more than i want to try these but she can't just get them yet Leap of Paralysis Hmm Ooh, I like it, okay I remember this crashing prison from the fate when I turned into that uh, ghost thing I was able to use this Okay, I will go with this. And that's everyone I need to level up, I think. No one else needs to. Alright. So, who wants to talk to me? You? You, Alistair, do you want to talk to me? Okay. Here, look at this. Do you know what this is? What? You are giving me a rose? 
<laughs> Your new weapon of choice. Yes, that's right. Watch as I thrash our enemies with the mighty power of floral arrangements. Feel my thorns, dark spawn. Ah, I will overpower you with my rosy scent. Ah. Or, you know, it could just be a rose. I know that's pretty dull in comparison. <laughs> I'm sorry. At least I am glad that he is not uh, avoiding it like me. Keep avoiding it. <laughs> because if we both keep avoiding it, it will go nowhere and I kind of like him. Um, sentiment can be a pretty potent weapon, I guess. Is it that easy to see right <laughs> through me? Huh. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I picked it in Lothering. I remember thinking, how could something so beautiful exist in a place with so much despair and ugliness? I probably should have left it alone, but I couldn't. The Darkspawn would come and their taint would just destroy it. So I've had it ever since. That's a nice sentiment. I thought that I might give it to you, actually. In a lot of ways, I think the same thing when I look at you. You're going to make me blush. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I thank you, Alistair. That's a lovely thought. I'm glad you like it. I was just thinking, here I am doing all this complaining. And you haven't exactly been having a good time of it yourself. You've had none of the good experience of being a Grey Warden since you're joining. Not a word of thanks or congratulations. It's all been death and fighting and tragedy. I thought maybe I could say something. Tell you what a rare and wonderful thing you are to find amidst all this darkness. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> uh... So am I to fall in love with the game character now? <laughs> oh, come on, you're not married. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I feel the same way about you. I'm glad you like it. Now, if we could move right on past this awkward, embarrassing <laughs> stage and get right to the steamy bits, I'd appreciate it. Hmm... Okay, off the armor then. <laughs> <laughs> Bluff calls. Damn, she saw right through me. Yeah, I did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you're so cute when you're bashful. Um, but I'm bashful too right now. <laughs> I'll be... <coughs> I will be standing over here until the blushing stops. Just to be uh, safe. Yeah, go. You know how it is. Continue. I. Who should I talk with now? You, you, you distracted me so much. Uh, hi, Zara. Here I am. And I am too? Uh, will you teach me to become an assassin now? I'm still thinking about it. I don't yet want the crows to actively hunt me, you see. Uh, maybe later. But they are already hunting you, so what's the catch really? Here I am. Mm, care to answer some questions, please? Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Hmm. Do you actually enjoy being an assassin? And why not? There are many things to enjoy about being a crow like in Antifa. What? You're respected, you're feared, the authorities go out of their way to overlook your trespasses, <laughs> even the rewards are nothing to turn your nose up at. As for the killing part, well, some people simply need assassinating. Or do you well, disagree? like Tim Logan and Arl Ho, yes, sure. I completely agree. 
You'll probably be right. I often find myself the instrument of fate, ending these lives for one necessity or another. I console myself with the notion that most of them had it come. Mm -hmm. As far as enjoying the act of killing itself, why not? There is a certain artistry to the deed. The pleasure of sinking your blade into their flesh and knowing that their life is in your hands. I don't quite think like you at that point, but the other part, sure, some people deserve it. Mm. Now, I don't really take pleasure in killing act. It is not pleasure per se, nothing sexual. It is more a sense of satisfaction, a feeling of power. Does that make sense? No matter. There are many things I did not enjoy about being a crow, of course. Having no choice, being treated as an expendable commodity, the rules, oh, so many rules. But simply being an assassin, I like it just fine. I will continue to do it if I can, even if I am not a crow. Honestly, could you picture me doing something else? Not really. <laughs> but I guess if you wanted to, you could do anything. I'm not going to flirt with you. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Zebran. Whereas I am content merely doing what I happen to be good at. It's a talent that not many come by, honestly. I don't see why I need not pursue it. Of course, all these thoughts are moot. Chances are still good that you and I will perish, eaten by darkspawn or slain by the crows at some point. Very gruesomely, I imagine. But it is pleasant enough to chat about. Come, let's move on while our boots still have some wear in them. You're not really my type. My type is a little bit... a lot of different than you, I think. Let's see... who's next? I don't have much time left, but let's go on with it. I must ask, what does being a Grey Warden mean to you? Uh, let's see... Glory and honor, no. <laughs> mm. Yes, uh, I believe that I am doing something important. There's that, of course. But there's more to being a Grey Warden than killing Darkspawn and saving the world from the like blight. Like what? Ultimately, being a Grey Warden is about serving others. About serving all people, whether elves or dwarves or men. In a sense, yes. That's true. Hmm. So you mean to say I serve as a protector? As a Grey Warden, you are a guardian of men. And you guard them because their continued existence is more important than you are. Thus, it is you who serves, not they. Hmm. Okay. I will keep that in mind. A good king. A true king who cares for his land. Uses his power to rule firmly but fairly. He serves his people first and foremost. The king who does not do this, who believes that he is entitled to his power, who abuses it and uses it for his own means, is a tyrant. I never wanted the power actually. Mm. I don't, and I don't really want it for any purpose or something. If you live apart from others, and your actions affect only you, then you may do as you wish. But if you have power, influence, and strength, your every action will be as a drop of water in a clear, still pond. The drop causes ripples, and ripples spread. Think of how far they will go, how wide they will become, how will they affect the pond. But I've lectured enough for today. I should stop before I wear out my welcome. Maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> How much you like me? Not much. Not much yet. What's on your mind? Let's see. Huh, are you feeling better now? Oh, yes, and thank you for asking. I'm feeling much better today. Hmm... Don't be an asshole. Please let me know if there is anything I can do. Well, thank you for your kindness, my dear. It certainly warms these rickety old bones. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. 
Who's next? I'm coming. Liliana. Hi. Something I can help with? Let's see. I like to talk to you about something. Yes? What's on your mind? Hmm. I heard that in Orle, ministrels are often spies. Where did you hear this? Well. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Not all minstrels are spies. Most are just singers and storytellers. But some of them are are what we call bards. Mm, and the bards are spies. Bards are minstrels and more. Spies, as you say. Some say there is a bard order, but I don't think this is true. Many bards work alone or in small groups, doing the bidding of a patron who pays for their services. If there is an organization behind it all, no one knows who they are. Hmm. Do they spy on Ferelden then? Some do. Mostly, it is nobles spying on other nobles. Mm -hmm. In Orle, there is much rivalry amongst the highborn. They fight over land, influence and the favor of the empress. But they cannot do this openly because it is impolite. And in public, they wear smiling faces and pretend to be civil. In secret, they plot and scheme to destroy each other. It is a game completely meaningless to anyone but its players. Probably. And you were a bard, I know that. You seem to know quite a bit about this part. So. <laughs> and I should, shouldn't I? After having spent most of my adult life as one. Mm -hmm. You've guessed as much, I'm sure. Yeah, I did. But does it really matter what I was? What's past is past. I just want you to say it. Hmm, but why did you remain cloistered sister in rural Ferelden, really? I found myself in Ferelden and sheltered from bad weather in the Chantry and when the storm passed I just did not want to leave I like to see the maker brought me here you're avoiding me again Liliana okay I'll just leave you alone okay okay I will just talk to Morrigan now and I will probably Finish the episode after talking to her once. I have a thought. Hmm. What's on your mind? We have an opportunity that I believe we should take advantage of. To the point. My mother was once divested of a particular grimoire by a most annoying Templar hunter. It occurred long before I was born, but even today, Flemeth speaks of the loss with great rage. With the circle of Magi in such disarray, mm -hmm. It occurs to me that this might be the perfect time to recover the tome from their possession, for surely it eventually ended up in their hands. Didn't I get something like that from the Magi? I'm not sure. Uh, what makes you think the Magi still have this book? Flemeth is a sorceress of legend, is she not? And her grimoire would be more than a mere curiosity to mages that don't even glance towards the places my mother has walked for eons. No doubt tis considered something dangerous, perhaps best locked away somewhere dark, yes? And if not, then at least I know it does not exist. But there is no harm in looking, surely? Okay, I sometimes cannot play the game for days and my memory betrays me a little bit about these kind of things I think I have the book and I forgot about it hmm so what do you want to do with this grimoire exactly? Tis a book of spells of the sort that Flemeth has dabbled with throughout her long life tis not the sort of thing that would benefit a mage of the standard variety they were taught a different path I however was taught by my mother I know a way around the wards my mother would have placed on such a tome. I know the language that she would have written it in. Mm -hmm. I would find such a tome most useful. Okay, but yes, in what way actually? 
Useful in the way that it might increase my power. Mm -hmm. Useful in the way that I would become more useful to you. Does that not follow? No, no, I, I didn't mean anything with it. I was just curious, asking. How do I know that it's not dangerous? Dangerous? All knowledge is potentially dangerous. True. If you have some fear of me such that I should not be allowed such knowledge, then by all means deprive me of it. I have no ulterior motive for seeking it, however. You don't need to be so offensive, Morgan. Don't worry. Mm. Can I just give it to her now? Okay, very well. Uh, if we go back to the tower, I will definitely look for it. Good. I am most interested to see its contents, should it be located. The grimoire is leather-bound and adorned with the symbol of a leafless tree, should you come across it. If not, however, then I shall simply put it out of my mind. Okay, then. I need to look. Don't I have it? Oh, okay. I think it's this. A heavy grimoire bound in black leather. Morrigan was born to take a look at this. Okay. Morrigan, I have your book already, as I guess. <laughs> uh, but I will be giving it to you in the next episode because I am almost out of time for this one. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and take care of yourselves. Bye bye.